Hi guys, Shelly Fitzgerald, so Shelly Quilts. I am busy chain piecing on my L890. And I'm doing a beautiful stitch. It's perfect. I'm going to show you how I set that up and then how I'm going to save that stitch. So the first thing that is really important to me when I'm piecing is this clear foot. That's an extra foot. It's number 27 on the L890. I'm I'm assuming they have a clear foot for the L850. Um, but the 27, you see that number right at the back here. And that way I get to see that piecing as it goes under the foot beside the knife. I'm not cutting off anything when I sew. The only thing that's going to get cut off are the fuzzies off of the ends so when I put those pieces together it'll trim that extra thread but none of the, the seam allowance will get cut off and it works really well. I have set this stitch up to where it has a negative 1 MTC. That's because when I originally did the stitch the edges up here where they're so perfect we're sticking out just the tiniest bit and so I wanted less thread in the stitch so that would be to negative one to put in less thread I've also set up the cutting width to be the cutting width is six millimeters wide which is a perfect scant quarter and that's working out well for me for getting my perfect scant quarter inch Here's the little measuring tool that comes with the um, machine, and I've got a nice quarter inch there. Okay, now I'm doing really straight. I'm not doing curved or intricate stars. This is just a nice block with a lot of straight seams in it, and it goes so fast, and they're just clean and easy. Let's look up here. I'm using a three thread overlock wide. That's the left needle. And I'm going to change this stitch. I'm going to touch the length right here. And I'm going to lower that to 2.0. Just like you were sewing, I don't piece with a 2.5, I piece with a 2.0. And then I'll just X out. I don't sew fast. You can sew at any speed you'd like, but I don't sew fast. So, oh, and I also want to sew needle down. I want that needle to stay in the fabric. Right here is the speed, and I happen to know that I like it for piecing at half speed. And then, if for some reason I'm accidentally stitching and my foot pedal went down too fast, it won't sew faster than I want it to go. That isn't important to everybody, but it is to me. I like a slower speed. Now we're gonna memorize this stitch, and then I will always have it. That's one of the coolest things on the L890, is you can memorize 100 stitches. So I touch the heart, and I'm gonna say, let's put a stitch into um, memory. And this stitch that's not labeled is the one that I've already set up and I'm just going to name it piecing. Hit check. Now, this is the cool deal, guys. When you're saving a stitch, and only when you're saving a stitch, you can also save the changes you made to these settings. And I know that for that stitch, I want that MTC to be at negative one. And so now, that is going to be part of the settings when this stitch comes up and it will remind me to change that MTC. I could change any of these things, but I don't need to, to know that when you're saving a stitch, you can save all of these settings also so that you remember how to set it up. Now, right now, it doesn't have that C27 foot. And so the C27 is a clear 
C11. So I'm going to leave it on C11. I'm sure they'll update the software at some point and include more feet. So I will even be able to tell it that I want that C27 foot. Right now that foot isn't in here. And so we'll um, just leave it at the C, uh, let's see, what is it, C11. But when the software updates and we get more feet available, then I can go back and alter that stitch again. So when I'm done, I'll just say check to confirm. Now when I come back out, I am still on the three thread overlock with an altered stitch length. But if I go in now, because I've saved that stitch and choose the heart, choose piecing, hit the check mark, you'll see that now I'm actually using the stitch we created and the norm for that stitch is a 2.0 length. You'll see that my speed is still yellow and that has been altered, not necessarily saved with the stitch. Even if I go to another stitch, that speed is going to still be different. Now the interesting thing is when I turn the machine off and on, so I'm going to turn it off. So we'll go back in and we'll pick up any stitch. And yes, that altered speed is still there. So that is on all stitches. It's not per stitch. And it does remember that speed change um, when you turn it off and on. So if you wanted to do a different type of stitch and move faster, you'd need to remember to come back in and make that back to normal. As with all Berninas, when you see a yellow box, you just tap it and it will default back to what is normal. So now that I've turned the machine off and on, I go in and find that stitch in my favorites. Notice that the MTC, the negative MTC setting is showing on the stitch setup. And hit check. And there it is, my piecing. 2.0 length. It's been saved and it's just perfect for what we're doing. So here is the, the stitch. Put my pieces together and I'm going to run it right against the knife so the knife is not cutting. Oops, see, even then, let me slow it back down. I'm used to having it set on really slow and then it won't take off on me because for piecing I'm being as accurate as I can to be against that knife so for this particular technique I like to slow it down you'll also notice that on my left hand when I sew this I like to um, hold that fabric even as it goes past uh, the foot that's just me, but once again, I want to make sure that nothing uh, twists. So here's my, my yuckies that I'm going to have cut off. No fabric cut off, but I'm going to hold this fabric right here, even as it goes past that knife, just confirming that it's going to be in the correct spot. So this is Shelly Fitzgerald with So Shelly Quilts and I'm just going to be happily piecing my quilt together. Bye for now.